having some time in the studio on Monday, checking out with some folks that did well this past weekend, including a guy. And this is one I'd, I'd really like to see someone do some research on this one to see. Has anybody ever, and I'm going to use the actual term ever, won at one racetrack in six different divisions? Danny Varon has now done that. He's won at Utica Rome Speedway and, of course, Sportsman and Modified, 305 Sprint, 360, 410. And he just won this past weekend in the USAC Sprint Car. That's the picture you're looking at right there. And i got to give him credit, too. He did one of the best donuts I've ever seen. I'm not really sure where I saw it, but he did a good one uh, after he won the race at Utica Rome. So 33-year-old Danny Varon is with us right now. Danny, how are we doing on this Monday? Uh, we're doing good. You know, we're getting some work done uh, and then also trying to get the cars ready for uh, this coming week. So how did this even come about? I didn't even know you had a USAC Sprint car. <laughs> well, we didn't, um, you know, but then when you seen it come on the schedule for Fonda in Utica, uh, I told Brad Radavoy, the car owner, I said that these are two races that I don't want to miss. So mm-hmm. um, we're going to have to try to figure something out to do these two races. Um, and, and at first he was like, we need to go buy a car for two races. And I said, well, we don't have to. I said, uh, but one way or another, I want to go do these races. So we're going to either take one of our other cars and, um, and do it or, uh, you know, try to, you know, pick up a used car and, um, you know, for these two races. And, and, and that's what we did. Well, is it basically a 360 without the wing? Yeah. Yep, it is. Um, but they do they do some other thing so there is a bigger front axle in it um, okay and then um you know the body's a little bit different because uh because there's no top wing on it mm-hmm. um you know so there's a couple things that are different but uh you know all of our stuff i i just didn't want to mix and match uh just felt like we were going to be um not competitive that way so we really wanted to just focus on the the non-wing stuff and gotcha. and, and uh you know and try to pursue pursue a, a good finish yeah, because as you look at the picture here, guys, I can see what you mean. So is it just the body work on the left side that's different? Uh, the body work on uh, both sides is a little bit different, um, you know, and, and there's a little bit more more body than, uh, say, the wing car has. Yeah, because as, as we're looking here, I can see there's an extra piece on the top where the cage is, and also the side is up uh, a little bit as well. So, so that's really all we had to do to our 360? Uh, yeah, and then there's a, they run a 53-inch front axle. So, um, you know, in the, the regular car, um, we just have uh, a 50-inch. So the, the front axle is three inches wider. Three inches um, wider, okay. Yeah, and then the wheels are a little bit different. Um, you know, offsets are different. So um, there's, you know, a bunch to it. Um, it's just uh, we're not really non-wing guys, so, you know, we were – kind of guessing come feature time on what changes to make and, and stuff but um you know the guys did a phenomenal job so. so obviously your knowledge of utica rome helped you uh yeah just uh knowing the racetrack a little bit i know those guys it was their first time there so um you know that, that's you know obviously tough for them to try to adapt and, and you know be good at and uh utica rome is you know it's kind of different it's super slick and um you know in these non-wing cars there's no downforce there's no wings there's no doors there's you know so it's really you're really slipping and sliding around yeah and i would imagine you're backing your marks up almost similar to what you would have used in a modified or do you back them up even more than that yeah you have to back it up even more than that um you know because even even modified has you know their wings and their doors and you know and a rear spoiler and right you know and a lot of weight we're you know those cars are you know 1400 pounds you know with no wings, no doors, and then you're sitting on like you know, um, you know, a huge 109 inch tire that's you know all ballooned right up. 109 so, inches? Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So they're uh, so they're. Uh, it's definitely a change of pace. You know, yeah. when when I went out for hot laps, uh, you know, I'm like, man, this is gonna be tough. So. And and I would imagine too. Because uh, I remember when the first time they did this out in Weedsport, I think it was, I don't know if you were there for that, maybe five years ago or something, they wrecked five cars in hot laps because a lot of the sprint car guys kind of used their marks and ended up going in too deep. Did you do that a few times yourself where you had to catch yourself and go, no, 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 wait, I, I can't drive it that hard? Oh, yeah. Uh, absolutely. In the heat race, um, it happened numerous times um, where, 
I got in the corner and it was like, oh boy, this is this is not going to be good. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just super easy to overdrive it because there, there's there's no side bite, there's no grip. You know, so there was definitely a couple of times where you know I thought that you know I was in danger, but uh, luckily the car was good enough to where you know just uh, you know didn't didn't bicycle up and, and get out of shape or or go off the bank or anything. Um, just, uh, you know, keeping your head on your shoulders. Um, mm-hmm. I think every lap, though, we just kept getting better and better. Do you counter steer more with this or more with the, the wing on top? Uh, a lot more with uh, no wing on top. That's kind of what um, I figured. But, but, yeah. there's, um, And they make them so they can turn a lot more, too, um, in, in the non-wing stuff, mm-hmm. um, which is you know somewhat of the reason behind the the wider front axle and the cutouts and the torsion bar arms and stuff like that. Okay. So was this surprising or did you kind of think you had a shot coming in? Um, you know, I, I mean, obviously every car we get into, we feel like we got a shot to win, sure. but, um, I knew this was going to be a, a real tough one. Um, you just lack of, not only lack of experience driving it. I mean, I think, you know, drivers can adapt and, and you know, I'm trying to make their car the best, but the changes, throughout the night to, to keep the car with the racetrack and to keep a fast race car all night long. Um, that's, you know, the experience with that is where we lacked. And, um, you know, but my crew guys, they, you know, they called a bunch of people, you know, you know, all month long and, you know, we're prepared for this race and, and what changes to do and what shocks I think to put in the car. And, you know, I talked to Jason Barney about it and he told me, he gave me some stuff and the setup, uh, for what to do with the car. And, um, you know, it was just, I don't know, it was super, super fun, and, uh, you know, it was an absolute blast. And, and that's the word that a lot of guys have used when they talk about these wingless sprints. It is a lot of fun because it's true seat-of-your-pants racing, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's uh, it's definitely different. And the other night was, you know, riding the, the rear, you know, the razor-thin cushion there mm-hmm. and, and just trying to, you know, hit your marks. Um, you know, and you had to hit certain spots on the racetrack to get your speed up and then avoid certain spots that were going to slow you down. And it was super technical, which, uh, you know, which is very, very good for, for me, um, you know, as a driver, just to, uh, you know, try to perfect your, you know, every little, little skill that you have to try to make the car as fast as you can. Of course, the interviews, uh, we, one of the interviews we aired earlier today was with Jason Barney uh, previewing Speed Week. Uh, how much Speed Week stuff do you think you'll be able to do this week? I mean, we're going to, uh, you know, the plan right now is to try to attack the week, um, you know, and hit every race. So obviously, we haven't raced a whole lot this year, and we're looking to put some laps under our belt, um, you know. But we have, you know, the one car with the motor in it, um, you know, so we'll just have to pick one race at a time, keep our nose clean during the week, and, uh, you know, try to, uh, you know, try to finish up front every week and, mm-hmm. you know, and just, uh, you know, have a fun week, but also uh, put some put some solid finishes down yeah and you've got a business to run so i mean geez this is this is going to be tough isn't it yeah we're, we're still out working right now trying to uh um get it all done for this week and uh you know just so we can i'll have to come back one day and work um but should be able to take a couple of days off it all starts Wednesday at Can-Am, the return of the PAP shootout. They're going to have 358s, mods, and sportsmen. Utica Rome on Thursday, Brood and Fulton on their regular nights on Friday and Saturday, and then things wrap up Sunday at Weed Sports Speedway. I'll let you get back to work. I appreciate you getting back to me, Danny. And, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I, don't know if, I don't know if anybody's won six different divisions at any track, so that's something I think you deserve a special plaque for. Great job. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, we should have lots of fun stuff up here this week.